Hey guys, welcome to Southern Trace Camping where today I'm going to add some additional LED lights to my travel trailer, specifically to the awning area. Now my awning already has a set of lights on it, but they're really dim and they're built into the canister that rolls in and out that rolls the awning up. So I wanted to add some more that are actually mounted on the trailer itself. And I figured if I'm going to do this, I might as well get a set that has a remote and uh, can change all different colors so it can be fun for the kids. Now, this set was not very expensive. I bought it on eBay for $14 and I had to buy some additional tape for $14. So I've got roughly 30 bucks tied up in this. But let me show you exactly what I purchased and what my plan is. And then I'm gonna show you how I install it. And hopefully this will all turn out and will maybe help you. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the kit that I purchased for $14. It came with a 16 foot roll of LED lights that are waterproof, a 44 key remote, and a power supply. Now the power supply is the only part that's the downside to this. I had a set of lights earlier that had an inline power supply, which was more streamlined. However, that set of lights was about 100 bucks, and from what I've seen now, they're all the way up to 180. I'm going to try to do this myself for about 30. So let me show you what I've purchased. This, this set of lights has some backing on it, some sticky backing on it. But it's not, to me, it's not good enough. So I went to the automotive store. You can buy this at any automotive store. It's uh, this one I bought from O'Reilly's, 14 bucks. It's double sided tape that is very, very strong. Um, that will hold these lights up with no problem. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you decide to get LED lights, you can kind of see how this, I don't know if you can see it real well, is a dome. You know, it's got a plastic coating over the LED lights. That is the style that you want to get for something that stays outside. You'll notice when you start researching these, if you decide to do this, that there's some that just look like paper almost with the LEDs on the outside. And they've sprayed some sort of waterproof coating on it, but it does not last. This with the plastic built over it will last a whole lot longer, okay? So what I wound up doing, this is where your power supply goes in, okay? Well, you can buy a power supply for five bucks on eBay for this, for this particular set of lights. But I had tons and tons of uh, power supplies in a box, anything from cordless phones or whatever, the, the, these were the chargers. So what I did was I cut one off, which is under this bag right now, and it fits perfectly into that hole. And I've already tested all this, and it all works. It all lights up, everything works. One thing you wanna be careful of when you're hooking all this together is these have arrows on them. You see there's an arrow right there on this side, and there's an arrow on this side. When you go to plug these together, you want the arrows to match up. Otherwise, you're gonna think, I bought a set of lights off eBay, they were cheap, and they don't even work. That's not the case. You gotta make sure everything is positioned right. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do for this. I am gonna waterproof this, and basically I'm gonna put silicone all around this. I'm gonna put my plug in there, I'm gonna zip tie, all. I'm gonna put one zip tie around it, holding it on there, and you can see there's that line right here all the way around. There's areas where moisture can get into this. I want to silicone it so that I don't have to worry about water getting into this box. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna go do now. Okay, so I silicone this off. I know that looks like crud, uh, but it's gonna be up out of the way so you won't be able to see it anyway. My main goal was to just get it sealed off from the elements. Um, the caulk I was using was a little bit old so it didn't smooth real real easy but it's all I had and I didn't want to run to the store so you might be wondering why this why I cut this away from this because I'm going to be plugging this into the 12 volt power supply the cords that already run to my current LED lights I'm just going to splice them in line because all it needs is 12 volts so I didn't need a, a transformer now if you don't already have lights this might be something that you keep in mind. You might want to keep this thing connected and find a way to, to just plug it in as needed. All right. Um, I went ahead and on all my connections, I had shriek, sh uh, heat shrink. Now, and just went ahead and sealed it off that way. If you don't have that, go ahead and use your caulk once you snap everything together and caulk it all together and let it dry. That way, you know, no moisture is going to get into this. All right. So now we're going to go out. I'm going to stretch all this out and I'm going to put 
I'm gonna peel that off and go ahead and apply this to it so that I can go ahead and stick it to the travel trailer. All right, so let's go out and get all that done and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so here's the finished product. This used to be the white box. I wrapped it in electrical tape because I decided to mount it on the inside of this track and I checked it several times. This is the actual awning head and it stops about an eighth of an inch before it'll actually hit this box and I'll show you that here in just a second. So this was my regular wires that led out to my awning and I just spliced into them. This was the cord coming into the box. This is my sensor that will turn it on and off or different colors. And I had some holes that I wrapped through here uh, in order to mount this securely on there. I mean, I can't, I can't pull that out of there. It's not coming out of there. And all that silicone and all that's on the inside of that tape. So you should not have a problem with it coming loose. Now these, this is how the LEDs turned out. Now, I, I'm gonna tell you that I did not use that extra adhesive tape that I bought. I just went ahead, this stuff was actually stickier than what I had anticipated. So I cleaned that area real well all the way down, put it on there, and we'll, we will see if it will live. I don't know if it will or not, but we will find out. Now, you can order this with a black background or the white. And you can order it at that 16 foot piece, but you see all these pictures of scissors? These are all the places that you can cut it. So if you need it shorter, you can make it shorter. So anyway, um, I will turn it on tonight and show you what it looks like at nighttime so you can see how bright it is. And I will also show you if you mount it in your track what it looks like when this is closed. Hold on one second. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to where you can actually see. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it's not actually touching the box down in there so it's the perfect place it'll hold it in place going down the highway and help protect it from some of the weather and such and the wires are all up out of the way the loom gets pulled up just a little bit into that but that's nothing bad all right so here's the finished product right now it's just on white you can make it do you can make it flash and which is very very annoying you can do uh, different colors where it's fading in and out from different colors. You can pick a color that you like. I like can't tell, but that's green. Um, there's red. I mean, there's there's all different kinds of things. You can dim it. You can make it do an, an auto where it just goes into strobe mode if your kids are outside dancing or just whatever you want it to do. It has all different kinds of options. And I've got $15 tied up in this. So... Anyway, I hope this helps you. Okay, so that whole project took me about 45 minutes. It would have taken longer if I had decided to go ahead and use the double-sided tape that I had bought because I'd have to stretch that out and, and put the two together and then put it up there. Now, this was easy for me because my awning already had lights. As you saw, I was able to splice into the line that was already there. So it was really not hard at all. So right now, I'm only out really the $15 for uh, the LED lights. Now the remote will take a battery. You'll need to have a CR2032, um, which I advise getting those off of Amazon because you can get, I think four of them for the price that you can get one at Walmart. And they come in handy just to have on hand anyway. But anyway, if you find this to be helpful, please like my YouTube page or Facebook page, Southern Trace Camping. I plan on doing a ton more reviews of parks, cool uh, reviews on items like I just found for 15 bucks and if this doesn't work I will put notes in the comments about having to go back and add more adhesive tape or whatever if this comes loose anyway get out there with your families have fun be safe and God bless mm -hmm.